Hi everyone, in this lecture we will see how the custom comparators are made in Java 8 in a lambda expression in a one liner way. So here I am in my main class, I created a main method and I am having this employee class with age and name as a parameters or primitive variables and I will use this employee class for comparison using comparator. So in my main class I will create a list first of employees and I will add few employee data and on the basis of different comparators I will sort the employee list. So I will start with a list of employees and in this employee list I will start with array list I will make it as new array list and this will be on the basis of employee and I will create a, co a constructor inside this employee class. So for that I will go to the source, create constructor using fields and I will pass all the constructors inside this. So a constructor will be made here only. And I will simply write the data which I want to send in the list. So I will write list.add and new employee and new employee will be having two things first will be the age let it be 25 and let the name be Amit so simply I will copy few more employees and I will paste it here only so I will provide 32 and let it be Sujay let it be Prashant and let's make it a drop in so Prashant is having age of 46 let it be and let the Robin is having age of 19. So in this way we will add the employees in the list. And now if I talk about the legacy way just to show you a single example. If earlier way if we, we are going to create a comparator then we will separately create a class. If I am going to create a comparator of name for the employee so I will write it as a name, name comparator. So name comparator class will be created then we will have to implement the comparator and I will have to pass the employee class here just to make this comparator know that I have passed the employee for comparison and I will have to implement the unimplemented method that is compare it will take two employee objects so on the basis of this comparison I will have to compare Suppose I am comparing name, so I will write one dot compare one dot get name dot compare to o two dot get name. So in this way, it will do the comparison and return the comparator. So if I am using this comparator inside my main class, then I will have to write. or I will simply go with collections dot sort and what I will sort I will sort the list on the basis of comparator which I have created that is new or simply I will write the class name here name comparator so it will be a new name comparator and this will be sorted on the basis of name so if I write down here that is for employee and what I passed employee I will pass the list of employee and simply do a sysout and print the E. So if I will run this in a legacy way it will do the comparison and sort on the basis of name. So you can see Amit is coming then Prashant is coming then Robin then Suja is coming even if I have put it in the list that is one after the other but it is doing a shot on the basis of name and printing on the answer on the basis of name. But this was a legacy way in which we used to create name comparator separately or if you want to sort on the basis of age then you have to sort on the basis of age then you will have to create a different comparator make it as age comparator and if you want to sort on the basis of name and then with age then you will have to write a separate comparator like name age comparator so all different classes will be created. But we are not bothered about creating those comparators in Java 8. So I will simply delete this 
name comparator and we will see how in a one liner way we can create these comparators so i will create here a comparator only and it will ask me which type of object you want to create for comparison so i'll say that employee is the object in which you need to do a comparison using comparator i will name it as name comparator or make it a comparator only and i will simply say comparator not of a employee but comparing and it will take argument so i'll write simply employee and what to do with that employee just compare on the basis of name so i'll say get name so get name will be passed in this comparator so it's a one liner as you can see no class is required simply i'll just pass it here and i'll just paste it here and click on next for running see again it has sorted on the basis of this name let me do one more thing since this is printing name previously i will just change this age part and put it in the end so i will do control x and then i'll pass it here in the end and i'll pass here quotes and plus just i'm doing a changes in the to string method so that it would it will be a kind of easy comparison and visibility will be easy for that so we have provided age and let me remove this part or let me remove this part i'll provide single quotes here so you can see and now if i run this you can see amit prashant robin suja is coming and then age is coming because i have done changes in two string method now i want to compare not only here on the basis of name i want to compare on the basis of age so i will do get age here and when i'll run this you can see it has sorted on the basis of age robin is having age 19 so it is coming on the, in the start let me do one more change let me provide equal to here so it will be clearly visible and also do certain changes like right this so now let me run this so it says age is 19 coming first for robin then 25 is age for amit then 32 then 46 so it has sorted on the basis of age so age we have sorted we have seen how to sort on the basis of name now i'm going to sort on the basis of name and then age that is if two person is having the same age then sort on the basis of name so i will do one thing instead of this 46 i'll pass amit as 46 and let's see how this things works out or let me name this to sumit so now if i'll run this you can see though sumit is having age 46 and prashant is having 46 but sumit and prashant is not sorted because they are as should be coming after prashant so what i will do here that if the age is coming same for sumit and prashant then just sort on the basis of name also so after this statement i will have to write dot then compare and what i will have to compare i will have to compare their name so i'll write simply employee then i'll write get name that's it so now if i'll sort this then though they are having same thing that is 46 as a age but prashant will be coming much prior to sumit so as you can see prashant is coming before sumit because they are having same age otherwise if their age is different then the age will be sorted on the basis of uh, employee will be sorted on the basis of age so this is how we can create custom comparators but the thing is again one line extra is required here as you can see so instead of providing these comparators here it will be much easier if this thing is provided in here in this part so i'll remove this part and i'll simply copy this or you can say i'll simply go and provide the whole data inside this so i'll write comparator and it will ask me employee dot compare 
or you can say I'll simply go with this compare and I'll provide I'll write employee and I will say just compare on the basis of name so I'll write get get name now it will start on the basis of name so I'll run this and as you can see it has started on the basis of name now I will ask this to short on the basis of age so I'll simply write dot then comparing but since age is integer if we are comparing anything in the first part then I will have to provide comparing itself comparing is fine but if you are providing in the second part since your age is integer then you'll have to change it to comparing int this method so as you can see let me put it in the next line and let me put it here so now you can see this comparing int will compare the integer value of this age. So I'm comparing this integer value after name. So I'll write employee, then I'll part get age. So it will simply short on the basis of name first. If two names are coming similar, then it will short on the basis of age. So for that, I will have to change this data to Sujay and now when I run this see Sujay and both Sujay is having the same name there is Sujay 1 or Sujay 2 you can say since they are sorted on the basis of age because their name is same so what we are doing we are comparing on the basis of name first if the name is coming same that is Sujay and Sujay are same then compare on the basis of age so then 32 and 46 is coming so in this way we can provide custom comparators inside the name itself and provide in the data. You can do in a stream also and that will be much more easier to handle all those parts. So if I talk about that, I will write list.stream and I will remove this part. I will write sorted and what in what way it should be sorted so it will write comparator and i'll ask the comparator to compare what to compare to compare employee so employee and on the basis of what get name and in the next next line i will ask itself the list part also only to print me the result of that then i'll write for each print the data so system dot out then I will ask the print stream to return print ln that's it so now you can see earlier it used to be different class level of code and now we have been provided on the comparator in a separate collections dot sort all things are not required just provide a one liner that is this list part and let me put in one liner only as I'm saying. So this one liner will short the stream on the basis of comparator which you have provided that is on the basis of name and for each part it will just print me the data. So if I'll run this part, so click on save, see it has done its sorting. But since 46 is for Sujay, it has been inserted in the starting so 46 is coming. Now I'm going to sort this data on the basis of name if the both names are coming same then i'll write then comparing end which we have written in the earlier case employee and i'll write get name not the get name get age and it will sort both the data and since both names are same so it will sort on the basis of age so in this way using stream api in java 8 we can do all the comparison and all the sorting using custom comparators at as per our need in a single line and it will remove all the extra lines of code which is required earlier used to required in the prior to java 8 so thank you all for watching the video